Today, I'm going to show you how to reset a Timex Ironman triathlon shock by shorting the pads. Inside the watch, you may find a sticker covering the battery that states, after battery insertion, short pads to reset. And while the manufacturer recommends this operation be performed after changing the battery, I've replaced the battery in this watch at least four times without resetting it, and I've never had an issue. <laughs> Maybe I just got lucky. The manufacturer recommends a jeweler replace the battery and perform this operation, so do this at your own risk. It's a watch, so there are small parts, and they're delicate. As always, see the information section below if you'd like to jump to a specific point in this video. Now that I've removed the screws, I'll remove the back, remove the sticker on the back of the battery, and that'll give us clear access to the battery. And the AC pads are located in this small slot here. They're the two round little gold posts. Here's a better view. To short, gently use a metal tweezer or paper clip to touch the two AC pads and the battery at the same time for roughly three seconds. My tweezers are too big, so I'm gonna use a paper clip. And you may not make perfect contact on the first try. And like me, you may need to use needle nose pliers to contort the metal paper clip. I'll give this a little curl. Nope, needs a little more adjustment. All right, I think this one's gonna work. Yes. So once you've made proper contact for three seconds, you'll see Monday, January 1st, 12 a.m. Happy New Year! And don't freak out if the watch displays random numbers for a few seconds before resetting. That's normal. Once reset, it's time to reassemble the watch. I'll put the sticker back on over the battery. And now before I continue, here are a few important things to take note of. Check that the watch hasn't shifted in the casing. You can check this by gently pressing the buttons along the outside to see that they're making contact with the small metal pads inside. You can see them move here. Also, if your watch has seen a lot of action like mine, check that this rubber gasket is seated properly around the perimeter. That's gonna keep the water out. You'll notice my gasket's getting old and it's stretched out. Still works though. Now to reassemble. We've already replaced the sticker on the back of the battery. We'll put back the plate. And you can see my rubber gasket's hanging out, but I'll tuck it in once I get the screw started. And be sure to put the plate on the way that it came off. If you put it on upside down, uh, the watch may not beep or the Indiglo may not work. Also, whenever I reassemble, I like to start all the screws and then go back around and tighten each one. If you'd like to know how to change the battery, set the time and date, or use the functions of this watch, check out the links at the end of this video. I'll also post them in the information section below. Once the screws are in, we'll check to be sure all the buttons are working properly. Hmm, it's hard to see the Indiglo. Looks good. If this video has been helpful, please do me a favor and like it so other people can find it. Thanks so much for watching. Good luck, runners, bikers, and swimmers. <laughs>